From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Tonight, we are back in the VIP room at Turning Stone Resort in Verona, New York, where the final six players of the Empire State Hold'em Championships played it down to one winner. We'll show you the results later on, but first, we'll kick off the episode with our all-star cash game. We have collected some of the best poker players in the world for this series, and so far, they have not not failed to disappoint us. I think that makes sense. Anyway, let's check the progress as we round the corner on day two of the cash game that everyone wishes they could be playing in. Here's what everyone is starting day two with. The big stacks will start out being Igor Kurganov and Antonio Espondiari buying in for the maximum of 20K and Phil Helmuth micro buy at just 5,000. Brand new cast of characters for day two here at Turning Stone. Jake Balsiger gonna get us started tonight with Ace-9, raises to 300. Antonio Esfandiari making his Poker Night in America debut. We'll call from the button with eights. I'm gonna call blind. That is allowed. I like to defend my straddle, but when I look at my cards, I can't do it because I get too scared. Flop is jack high. I uh, bet 500. Tilly betting blind bets 500. <laughs> I like to burn money in the parking lot. <laughs> Antonio's like, how can I exploit this situation? I'm so steamed up. Why in the world didn't I raise before the flop here? I don't know. Why do you not? So sick. Now what's going on? I had a bad feeling about Antonio. <laughs> I always have a bad feeling about Antonio. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, now I'm out of position with Antonio, head up, betting blind with probably a substandard hand. This is not a good situation. I'm going to check. And Tilly still hasn't looked at her cards. Okay, now it's time to look at my hand. Okay, here we I go. I think I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. And she has four five. So she's got a pair of fives and a draw. 1,050 was the bet from Esfandiari, and now a raise to 3,000 from Tilly. Richard, you live in Chicago? Yeah. I'm doing a huge charity event there. If you'd like to come play, I'll get you a free seat. It's, oh, absolutely. It's all the billionaires in Chicago. We raised 1.2 million in one night for Teaching Tolerance Charity. It's yeah, November 5th. Sure. November, okay, yeah. yeah and we sure. have a private cash game the night before, but it, it's really hard to, I don't know if I have enough You're seats, okay. but for you, I'll see if I can get you right. in. Yeah, thanks. For you, we're gonna pull some strings. To get a donkey in, we're gonna pull some strings. That's what he's saying, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to even read between the lines. I read the lines. That's actually completely not true. It's a bad read. <laughs> <laughs> that game does not need any more action. Not enough. 6K is the bet. That's the biggest part of the night right here. Well, like it's midnight. What do friend. you have, Jennifer, huh? And Antonio trying to figure it out here. Huh, Jennifer Tilly? These two do play together quite a bit, and Tilly is trying to play it as cool as she can. Antonio has the oranges in his hand, and he does call. And Antonio is going to ship a big pot to Jennifer Tilly, who played most of this hand blind. Play better when I don't look at my cards. I played this hand bad. I had ace queen. But the problem is I've had ace queen. And we ace get started seven. with a huge pot tonight here at Turning Stone on day two of our cash game. You know, Jennifer, maybe I should employ that tactic. Play most of my hands blind. I don't think there'd be much of a difference. I think I saw him right down to seven. You got a raise from Tilly with king three we'll of diamonds. Uh, so another movie. Travell right. Thomas limped in with deuces. Can you guys do the notebook? Yeah, right. Or was it something else? Yeah, we can do the notebook. That's Antonio's favorite yeah. movie. For the record, it was uh, like 72 or Let's not say that on television. <laughs> <laughs> they can edit But it was out. a damn good movie. <laughs> I play poker with Cassavetti, who directed it. He directs better than he plays poker. <laughs> He'd be the first to do that. That was the greatest story of all time. If you I, saw him, you would not picture him as the guy that directed the I know, notebook, he's, right? He's yeah. like all tattoos. Yeah. He's got neck tattoos. I think he has a, a little, I don't know if I can say it. Oh, we're on live stream. He has a little tattooed on his knuckles. <laughs> but he's, a, he's, a, he's got a heart of gold. I mean, he loves his kids and three players. Me and Antonio and the team, I star. One player and two other people. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you the player? I'm the player. Okay. I have 10 behind, guys. You have 10 behind. Yeah. That's good. And Travell Thomas has flopped a set of deuces. I forgot what I Let's have. Let's let her do the follow-up bet. You gonna follow-up bet if I check? Uh, I'm not sure. That if would... not, if not, I'm gonna bet if you ain't following up bet. Yeah, I'll check. <laughs> Let's see the turn card. And quads come on the turn for Travell. Antonio will open the betting here on the turn with 600. It's on you, Jennifer. No, he's got it's, cards. It's on you. <laughs> okay, you go to me in the call. I wasn't gonna fold. Now I'm gonna call you, then you bet that I'm gonna raise you, no matter how much you bet. I was gonna fold, I swear. Ah, the gamesmanship. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll go you get him. You can't punk the team maestro on TV. Fold, yeah. Don't punk the team maestro on TV. If there you check, are I'm betting. Three rules of fight club. <laughs> okay. And one of them is do not punk the team meister. I'm not gonna let him punk the team meister. I hope he checks. So I can bet 15. River's a queen, so his Fondiari has nothing. Let's see if he bets here on the river. 3,000. If you call, you lose. If you fold, you lose. 1,100 from his Fondiari turns into 3,000 from Thomas. You go all in, you win. <laughs> what happens if I go all in? You win. Promise? No. Because <laughs> then you'll do it, then I have to fold. Really pushing the boundaries of acceptability here is Travel Thomas. But it does make for some good TV, and Antonio's going to fold. Ah, I missed a golden you know opportunity. He's two for two with that speech. The Meister. The Meister had a monster there. The Meister did indeed have a monster there, and the Meister also had a monster run in the Empire State Hold'em Championships. Did he take down the title? Find out when we come back. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Not only our invite-only cash game going on this week at Turning Stone, but also the Empire State Hold'em Championship. They're killing me. Almost 500 players in with the $1,100 buy-in. We had a prize pool of 292,000 into this multi-day event. A lot of our cash game invitees also playing in this event while they are here, including Jennifer Tilly and Antonio Esfandiari. <laughs> Travel Thomas did very well. We'll get to that in a moment. And here is what all the players had their sights on who made our final table. First place going 115,000. The first eliminated from our final table walks away with just over 19,000. So let's meet the final six for the Empire State Hold'em Championship. One of the most entertaining characters we've seen at our poker night table is Travel Thomas, and he is at this final table with 1.3 million in chips. But our chip leader right now, Orson Young, with over 6 million in chips. I call. And our first all in of the night was with Cindy Kurzlake. The Canadian pro got it all in with deuces versus fives from Orson wow. Young. <laughs> oh my God. And the quad fives, obviously enough to eliminate Cindy. And so Cindy Kerslake heading back to Canada with 19,000. With the exchange rate though, that's about 25,000 Canadian. Cool. Our next elimination comes with Peter Bechet when again, it was Orson Young clobbering the flop. Quad fives flopped oh. versus Kurz Lake. Two pair flopped here against Bechet. And that was gonna do it for Peter Bechet with a win of just over 24,000. Hold on. Call. Aces. You got aces? Damn. Uh -oh. Four-handed pocket jacks are a premium God, hand, oh but God. when they're going up against two aces. Jack of diamond. The team might just hold up with that kind of hand. Things are very Open difficult. Jack in the window. For Travell Thomas. How did you really have aces? Cancel the Fiji. <laughs> and Travell Thomas aces. does not hit the river. And the entertaining <laughs> poker player from <laughs> Buffalo, <laughs> New York, aces. goes home with just under 30K, but aces. more money to play with nice, at our cash game. Aces. And again, it was Orson Young who eliminated sixth fifth and fourth places, and as you can see, has over seven million in chips now in front of him. Now let's get to the action three-handed. Never had a button you could Orson raise. Young on the button. 
Raising with Queen Three. All in. Clyde Lika, all in. Cool. A call from Forbes with his nines. Ouch. And somebody other than Orson Young's gonna try to eliminate a player here. Forbes' pocket nines are still ahead. The turn is a five, and so now Lika down to an ace or a 10 to stay alive. Oh, and an ace comes on the river. And so with that pot, Lika now is almost at four million. And that pot will take a big bite out of Robert Forbes' stack. Forbes is on the button and first acts. Here's we conclude the Empire State Poker Championship at Turning Stone. Again, an $1,100 buy-in. And these players gunning for over 115,000 for first place. 360 the bet from Forbes with Jack 10. And Lika is going to call, suited a seven three-handed, golden. So these two players gonna tangle it up again. The flop is 10 high, but both players make a pair. Forbes top pair, Lika with middle pair. Six hundred thousand from Forbes. Lika calls. Oh wow! A terrible turn for Forbes. It's another oh, seven, call. and Lika oh. calls. Oh, Forbes shoves like all in, something. and a very quick call from Lika. Trip sevens. Just a ten. Would do and we are thing. one card away from being heads up. River is an ace. And that will do it for Robert Forbes, shipping all of his chips in the last two hands over to Clyde Lika. Once we got heads up, not a lot of big pots being played, but a majority of them were going the way of Clyde Lika. And with that chip lead, Clyde Lika continued to apply the pressure to Orson Young until we get to this point where Clyde Lika has over a three to one chip lead. Lika raised with King Queen, and then a re-raise from Orson Young with Jacks, and they got all the chips in the oh. middle on the flop with Lika being ahead with a pair of queens. And with two cards to come, yeah, Orson Young right. could not find another Jack. Congratulations, Clyde Lika, your Empire State Poker Champion and winner of over $115,000. And Travell Thomas has himself a $29,000 payday. And when we come back, we'll go back to the cash game and Travell will have some of that money in play. Wow, he just keeps coming over the top of you like you weren't even there, Antonio. Huh? Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Thus far, it's how much money can we spread of Antonio Esfandiari's around the table. He's run into quads already tonight as we return to Poker Night in America here at Turning Star. Let's get back to business. You want to do it 24? 24, you go first. What are you doing? No, I would lose. I would instant lose if I go first. You know how much 24 more push ups I is? understand. But you know how Half buff you people, are? Most of the people at the table can't do 24 push ups. <laughs> uh oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want to summon me at the gym, I'd be able to get 15. I would be able to get a 15 bet out of you. Let's play seven deuce, guys. Wow, he just keeps coming over the top of you like you weren't even there, Antonio. Huh? <laughs> the team mice are just smashing you. Yeah, he's smashing. It's a good idea. I'm in. I'm up. Seven deuce? Seven yeah, deuce, let's play yeah. seven deuce, guys. This game, is, this like game a... is dead. 300? 300. 100 is good. good, I think, right? Because yep. then you get an extra thousand if you. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Yeah. It's a good incentive, anyway. I might check the flop and let you bluff the turn. Everybody in? Yeah. Here yeah. comes the flop Andy with Antonio might. and Thomas. Yeah, you're right. I told you what I was doing. Yeah. Hit their king. Kurgan off, throw 50. Turn is a queen. Thomas now with two pair. He did it. He went for it. 16. Thousand more for Esfandiari. Uh, I bet it's. I bet it'd be easy on the river. All right, Antonio is first. He checks. I'm such a wussy. Check. Who shows first? I got you. I'll, I won't even make you sure. 
You are such a wussy. <laughs> it was a good check, by the way. Check shoving your ass on. I thought you were going to do something sneaky, so I said whatever. I mean, you could have won another 8000 but... You're up. I think it's safe to say things aren't exactly going Antonio Espandiari's way. He's now 0 for 3 tonight on Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888-POKER, where the world plays online. Six is for Thomas this time. I'm going to call without looking. I'll only look if someone squeezes. And Tilly is blind again. We'll have to see if it works out as well as it did last time. I shouldn't announce, like, what I'm doing. I did a film. I did a film. That's 50-50? Did you really? Yeah, 50-50. 50 in a call. 300. Bumped up to 300. Ball singer folds. God, I hope I have I lit the fold. Folds. That's what I did, yeah. Thomas calls, and Tilly looks, and this time it goes to the muck. It will not be a big win. I'm going to check so he can do the follow-up bet. Gina, you check, too. Otherwise, it's term. not going to be a trend. They call check to induce a bluff. You got some new terminology, the follow-up bet. The follow-up bet. <laughs> the poker world calls it the C bet. The T Meister calls it the follow up bet. Yeah. The self proclaimed T Meister. I love it. Yeah. Self proclaimed T Meister is giving us new vocabulary for poker. 500 was the bet from Kurganov. Thomas calls. Oh, <laughs> Fury calls. We're, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, instant check. And now a full house for Kurganov on the turn. This could get very expensive for Gina Fiori. Kurganov has stumbled into the honeypot here on the turn. You could even add on more. He'll <laughs> still be in there. Just because Gene is my friend. And the river is a king, and now Fiori has the bigger full house. She's all in for 48.50. Wow. Wow. And wow's all around the table. I had the other queen. The hell is wow. Nine. Nine. Oh, really? You play a pocket seven. You had a queen too. No, no. An unbelievable Nine. double up wow. for Fiori. Jimmy, wow. you did not think you need that river. No, I, I was thinking I did. You were scared. I was thinking I needed it. He wow. wanted me to make some stupid play. <laughs> he was waiting on me to make some stupid play against so two people. Sick. What a sick hand. A crazy start to our second day here at Turning Stone Resort. And look at that, with the double up, Gina Fiore is now up to just under 15,000 in cash, courtesy of that Miracle River. And Antonio Esfandiari is getting some of the money back that he's lost initially. Coming up, our panel of movie and poker experts will review the poker scene from the movie Stripes. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Famed movie critic Roger Ebert once referred to the 1981 comedy Stripes as a slob movie, a celebration of all that is irreverent, reckless, and foolhardy. In many ways, that comment can be applied to the world of poker. John Candy illustrates that connection in this famous poker scene as he cheats his fellow recruits out of some basic pay. This is Poker Night at the Movies. Let's start with Phil on this. Let's just go poker. We, really, we okay. really don't know what happened leading I, up to I this. I don't know how to measure this thing because in terms of poker, it's like, <laughs> oh, can I see your cards? Oh, this is what you should do in the hypnotizer. Uh. You can't watch that scene if you're human and not laugh and appreciate all, and you start thinking of the, all the stuff that John Candy's made you laugh in, and it just, you are ready to laugh, mm -hmm. whatever, and then he does everything perfect and you, he gets it exactly out of you, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, ace, queen of clubs. I just love this for some, now for the technical and all you that stuff, it's, it's purposely wrong on every exactly. level because uh, that's the way it works. Phil, so good. Phil does the pre-flop hand. You're supposed, <laughs> to do the, you're supposed to do the river hand. He's like, ace, king, queen of clubs. Now, how about, got a lot of potential. We can get cracked. Jennifer, how about the acting of this? Now, there is, uh, besides I, John Candy <laughs> acting, that's about no, you it. Know what? I, no, no, no. I love this scene because I do think it exemplifies the poker world. John Candy is such an affable hustler. He does it's exactly what poker players or backhand players do he tricks the guy into thinking that he's really clever and that he almost won and that they're playing cards now that he's playing with the big boys and i love the kid too i love when his money's all gone he does a little sort of thing like this he doesn't know what to do with his hands this guy's out uh, the kid is an absolute rube i would give it uh quad fours 
Quad wow. fours. You know, if you had quad fours, you would have beat me there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's and, right. I, I got a full house. You've got a king and nine and eight and seven. But you're getting and in, with this. in terms of acting, comedy is so underrated. People, they all think, oh, we'll give an Oscar to this person because they cried. I have to say, doing what John Candy does so effortlessly, I would give this a straight flush. Okay. Yeah. And wow. Richard, what do you that, think that, of the, that, uh, the that's scene? That's so true. And you know, I, I, when I when I watch that scene, it's it's with a little bit of melancholy because we lost John Candy so young, and you know, and it's a Harold Ramis film, and we just you know, nope. and, just lost him. but and and that's by the way, that's a young judge, Judge Reinhold, who's the third player at that table there, who's uh -huh. just kind of watching the thing going, holy, <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> my language. But I I agree with with what what Phil and Jennifer are saying. I mean, the poker, it's 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 mm -hmm. what happens like when someone's in the army, he wants to belong. So I I know I give the poker, I give it a I give it a, a full house, and and the acting as well. I mean, it's just. So well done. It's those are very, so funny. those are some very aggressive. But, but uh, remember, we're so this funny. scene. We've all agreed to kind of suspend yeah. the thousand technical errors that are happening. Yeah. Well, it does, it's yeah. So You're playing on a green yeah. military yeah. issue. Yeah. 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 I mean, the fact that the money goes in the middle. He doesn't even count it. Oh, he knows yeah. it's all going into his pocket. <laughs> he goes, let me see what you got. Oh, yeah. I would go all in, but that's me. I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Vegas. Yeah. I'm an aggressive gentleman. Love me. He's me. For more from Poker Night in America, log on to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for Poker Night shirts, hats, hoodies, and more. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. What a sick hand. Poker Night is brought to you by 888-POKER, where the world plays online. All right, Pocket Kings, dude, I should have stayed around. I want to see him win the hand, though. Thanks, Timmy. So we can get him on tilt. Do you tilt? Igor does yeah. not go on tilt. Does Everybody he? tilts. If you play really? poker, you tilt. Everybody I hate it when I peel an egg and like the shell just yeah. stays on and on and on. Then I tilt. <coughs> That's my tilt. Or like an onion, you cut it and it just. I love onion. I eat onions on everything.